Hi, Internet Grandpa here, and we got another little critter book for you. This one's titled Just Big Enough. It's written by Mercer Mayer. So here we go. Just Big Enough by Mercer Mayer. Hmm. I see a ruler and a pencil. I suppose Mom's going to measure him, see if he's big enough. Every morning on my way to school, that's the word school right there, S-C-H-O-O-L. Every morning on my way to school, I always sit in the same seat on the school bus. But this morning, those three dots, that's called an ellipsis. Hey, what do you see on this picture? I see a dandelion and an acorn and some flowers and a bee. And here comes the school bus. So he always sits in the same seat on the school bus, but this morning, maybe it's different, huh? Do you, by the way, do you see his mousy in his backpack? A little mousy buddy? And I, oh, I see the spider too on the fence post. Sometimes he puts those little, little friends in, in the books. Sometimes he doesn't. But this morning, a big kid took my seat. Oh, who does that big kid think he is? He's nothing but a big old pig. Look at that nose, he is a pig. Excuse me, I said, you're sitting in my seat. The big kid didn't move. I guess he didn't hear me. Oh, the mouse looks mad. At recess, I wanted to play football with the big kids but they said I couldn't play because I was too small. Oh, have you ever had that happen? You're too small to play ball with the big kids. I remember when I was little how that used to happen. And I guess when I got to be a big kid, that happened to the littler kids too. Oh, today's menu, Frank's beans, coleslaw, and cupcakes. That sounds pretty good. At lunch, the big kids took all the cupcakes. They laughed when I said they had to share. They told me the cupcakes were just for them. Oh, that big kid is a pig. I wish I were bigger, I said to my friends. They all nodded. Poor little kids didn't get any cupcakes. Didn't get to play football. That night, I couldn't sleep, so I read a comic book. That's when I got a great idea. Ooh, what do you suppose this great idea is? Look who's holding the light for him. <laughs> his little mousy friend. The next morning, I asked Dad for some wood and some glue. Mom gave me tinfoil, and little sister let me have a jar of glitter. What are you making, asked little sister. A growing machine, I said. Huh, you can make a growing machine? Goodness, I wish I'd known that when I was a kid. I would have grown faster. <laughs> Do you suppose it'll work? Growing machine. Looks like he misspelled it at first. <laughs> I worked on the growing machine all morning. When it was finished, I sprinkled glitter on it so it sparkled like the one in the comic books I'd read. I made a helmet out of tinfoil. Then I put my helmet on and climbed into the growing machine. Hmm. I know people that you would think were wearing tinfoil helmets. <laughs> Some people might accuse me of that. I sat in the growing machine all afternoon. Kind of looks like an airplane. It's even got a propeller. <laughs> I even ate my lunch there. Oh my, look at his feet. They're so long for such a little guy. When it got dark, Dad said it was time to come home. Did I grow, I asked. Dad shook his head and said, not yet. Oh, what's that mouse doing down there in the corner? Oh, and the spider. Maybe I should sleep in the growing machine, I said. Dad didn't think that was such a good idea. Oh, 
Oh, he's got a kitty cat and a dog. How about that? Dad's wearing his flip-flops. Oh, and they've got a yellow porch light. We've got a yellow porch light. The yellow lights keep bugs away, or at least they don't attract the bugs like a white light does. The next day, I went to Grandma and Grandpa's farm. Oh, look at their mailbox. I used to go to my grandma's house and spend, spend about a week in the summer. And then we go about once a month for the weekend. What's the matter, little critter, asked Grandpa. I told Grandpa about the big kids and how I was trying to get big too, so that I could do all the things the big kids do. Grandpa took me out to the meadow. Look at those two horses, he said. Which one do you think is faster? The big one, I said. Grandpa let the big horse and little horse loose. They started to run across the field. And do you know which one was faster? The little one. Oh, do you see that bunny over there? The next day at school, the big kids said again that I couldn't play football because I was too small. I started to get mad. I challenge you to a relay race, I said. The big kids against the little kids. The big kids laughed, but they said, okay. The whole school came to watch the race. And do you know what? The little kids won. Huh. I don't think it always works that way, though. So I guess sometimes being small is just big enough. Oh, that's a nice story. I like that. And there's the mouse and spider dancing down there. Yay, we won. That's the end. Bye-bye for now. Love you guys.